Hello everyone. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss about 2.2 living processes in unicellular organisms. Okay, so unicellular, the word itself, uni means one. Therefore, uh, unicellular organisms are made up of only one cell. Okay, one cell. Even though it's just one cell, these cells is a complete unit okay, and it carry out all the life processes such as movement responding to stimuli nutrition respiration growth excretion and also reproduction just within this one cell okay we look one by one the life processes that has been done um, of unicellular organism okay we start with number one movement okay movement before that there are a few examples of unicellular organism such as amoeba amoeba sp stand for species amoeba species and then paramecium species okay so how this amoeba move okay it moves because it has a pseudopodium okay let me show you a video first okay so this is amoeba movement where you can see the amoeba extend its pseudopodium pseudo means palsu feet uh, podium means feet kaki okay extend the pseudopodium and then follows by the cytoplasm Dah nampak dia ada extended lunjurkan dia punya pseudopodium and then uh, semua cytoplasm tu akan ikut ok this is amoeba and, and this is how the amoeba ok in this video is a paramecium cilia movement cilia is like uh, dia ada berus-berus di tepi-tepi dia tu that is a cilia cilia a cilia paramecium moves by rhythmic cilia beat ok dia akan bergerak disebabkan ada cilia tu ok this is a paramecium and there's a cilia di tepi-tepi dia tu ok berus lah di call it the uh, cilia so as conclusion amoeba moves using its pseudopodium ok amoeba ni dia macam lah tadi it has a pseudopodium and then paramecium it has a cilia ok cilia Use, it moves using a cilia ok and uh, responding to stimuli we look at, we look here responding to stimuli stimuli means a stimulus uh, rangsangan bila banyak rangsangan stimuli okay a plural plural of um, stimulus so whenever this amoeba or paramecium encounter or uh, they has they encounter a, a stimuli such as chemical touch bright light it will, they will moving away from the stimuli. Bila ada cahaya, touch, sentuhan, okay, atau ada bahan-bahan kimia, ber, uh, encounter dan bertemu dengan semua uh, rangsangan ni, stimuli ni, dia akan moving away, menjauhi. Okay. Okay, number three, nutrition. Okay, nutrition, what is nutrition? Nutrition means is a process of get a food. Okay, getting a food. Nutrition ni ada proses mendapatkan makanan. So, how this unicellular get its food? Okay, for amoeba, kita tengok di sini ya. Amoeba, amoeba will move towards food by extending its pseudopodium. Okay, uh, to trap the food atau food particles by phagocytosis i will show you a video of phagocytosis process by amoeba okay and how uh, um this paramecium it used the present of psyllium bead helps transfer food particles into the oral groove groove ni macam kawasan mulut dia lah okay uh, nanti kita akan tengok video juga untuk senang faham and then bila whenever this food is already inside them this food vacuole will combine will combine with lysosome lysosome okay and the food particles are hydrolyzed okay so what i'm 
talking here is this all this is here Okay, starting dengan uh, this ameba dia ada nampak food and then dia start extend dia punya pseudopodium dan dia akan um, trap Okay, dia trap jadi food jadi dia akan membentuk food vacuole vacuole kantung makanan lah okay and then ada lysosom lysosom ini dia akan secret dalam food vacuole untuk hydrolyze the food particle ingat lysosom ni it has a hydrolyze enzy enzyme okay uh, hydrolyze ni maksudnya dia pecah-pecahkan okay food particle tu it becomes it's no longer food uh, particles now it's called digested food bila sudah digest dia akan absorb all the nutrients in the food will be absorb jadi bila ada uh, yang mana undigested tu dia akan exp, uh, apa dia akan discharge dia akan kasi keluar daripada badan dia okey so This whole process we call it as phagocytosis. Phago means eat. Okay. So this is phagocytosis. Now we go to number four, respiration. Okay, respiration. There are actually a big, a uh, big topic. What is respiration? But in this, um, in these terms, we want to discuss about uh, breathing respiration okay breathing respiration how this unicellular breathe okay so since it's just one cell simple so there is no nose there is no nostril apa uh, esophagus dan sebagainya macam human our, our we are multicellular so kita lebih complex but for uh, unicellular organisms they are much simpler they just this exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide okay contohnya ni amoeba exchange of oxygen oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide just occur through plasma membrane through a simple diffusion on the surface of cell so on the surface ni dia exchange lah in and out through a simple diffusion that's the keyword ok itu dia cara dia melapas so kita sudah tengok cara dia move bergerak cara respon pada stimuli nutrition cara makan kemudian cara bernafas sekarang kita tengok macam mana dia growth ok so growth uh, amai